Hey, welcome to Gear Jones. I'm Derek Allen. This is Chris Downing and we have Tim Wilson here. And today we want to come and show you uh, some of the stuff that Tim is doing as a camera motion specialist using his Ronin and the um, what Mini do you call Pro. This, thing? this is the Mini, the Mini Pro. Pro. The Mini Pro. Yep, it's also called the Nine Bot, and it's manufactured by Segway. That's pretty. So, good what's Segway. so special about what you do with this? Well, really, what this does is the Segway provides stabilization to your body, kind of the same way the Ronin provides stabilization to your camera. So, with this device, I'm able to get ultra smooth shots and create cinematic moves without really putting a lot of exertion on myself and also keeping the camera a lot more stabilized. Because as you know, when you're walking around with a gimbal, sometimes your arms tend to go like this or you got a lot of fatigue, especially when you're running, your arms will go like this. This keeps your arms straight because you don't have to worry about that Z-axis bounce. Why do we have the purple Challenger here today? We're doing a tribute to Prince, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> well, this car was provided by my friend Chuck Young. He's going to be our test subject today. We're going to do a sample run. We're actually going to film a sequence where the car comes into the camera frame. We're going to track the car. We're going to go into the cockpit, see the passengers, and then we're going to pull out to an established shot to basically show you how this camera can be used, uh, this setup can be used to create narrative uh, storytelling. All so, in one shot. All in one shot. And all then right. we're going to do it again on foot. Just for comparison purposes. For comparison. All right. Yep. So what's going on with your gimbal right now? <laughs> How is that floating there? Yeah. Well, see, I, I got this uh, tactical vest. This is by Low Pro, and they make this really cool tactical vest. And I got it because it's got these metal mounts here that I can hook up the uh, gimbal to and carry it while I'm actually riding on the Segway, because sometimes I have other equipment that I need to get to and I need my hands free. So this keeps the uh, gimbal here, and I can just pull this up nice. and start to shoot. Very nice. Yeah. Yep. So do you really feel safe on this thing? I feel 100% safe. It took a while. I've been riding it now for four months. Okay. And it took uh, maybe about two or three days for me to feel comfortable riding it. Um, and since this is by Segway, it is definitely more safer than some of the other manufacturers out there, like the hoverboards and the swag swagways. Um, the battery, has, they say it won't explode because this is a, uh, this is a UL2272 certified battery. Wow. So it should not explode when you charge it. How long does it last? You know, that's the amazing thing about this thing. I have yet to run the battery out on it. I've run several miles with it and haven't run out. It says it can go up to 14 miles on a single charge, and I have yet to run out the battery. I'll get down to maybe 25% power, and I can keep on going. And it also gets up to 10 to 12 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for a Segway. So you, you use this for just like side to side moves? Mm, and I use it for everything. I mean, this thing can do dolly arcs, it can go, uh, fast speed and one of the things I find really cool about it is like I could get multiple camera positions so for instance say for instance you're doing a live event where you don't know what's going to happen uh, just recently I did a parade I did the uh, cherry blossom 2017 parade and this thing's happening all over the place there was marching band here wow. there were particles being bursted in the air here and I'm filming the band and I see the particles over there I'm like wow this would be really cool if I was shooting the particles and they were falling and just as soon as I thought it I rolled right into the particles super fast because four times faster than walking so I was able to get from point A to B, get a secondary camera shot, and I had two cutaways from the marching band to the, to the marching band with the particles, and it looked fabulous. That's amazing. Yeah, so, so I can- you're able to get the panoramic shots 360. I can do 360 shots, I can do straight shots, you could do time lapse, like I can go straight down the street, and you can hyperspeed it in post and create this motion that feels like very like hyper time lapse. Wow. Um, but the most of all, the most important thing is really being able to get multiple camera positions really fast. I mean, I can get from point A to point B to point C. Because you're on wheels, man. I'm on wheels. Now, is it, is it particularly this device that you can do it on? Can you do it like a swag board or a hover? hover you could. Or? Now, let me tell you some of the things that make this separate from something like that. Now, the great thing about this camera, as you notice, or this Segway, is that this has 10 and a half inch wheels, and these are actually inflatable rubber wheels. So, just like our old traditional dolly here, right. you're kind of riding on air suspension. So that also helps with some of the bumps and shock, shock absorbing. Um, this is not like a hard rubber wheel like you would find in some of the other cheaper boards. So you don't really feel the concrete. So that's a great thing. Um, and another cool thing about it is it actually uh, has a 15 degree angle for incline. So you can go up hills at 15 degrees. Now I'll say I've done higher. I've mm -hmm. done 20 and 25 degree angles. Right. Wouldn't do 45. That feels totally uncomfortable. Right. But 15 degrees, 20 degrees, you can go up. Um, another cool thing is it actually has crazy tow capacity because not only can I shoot with this, but I found at the end of a shoot, I can actually push my dolly cart around 
with all my gear on it. So you load up so, your gear and you use that to you, propel. I could put all of my camera cases right. on this At dolly. At the end of the day, that's awesome because, you know, my legs are worn out. You've got a whole the day. full day shoot. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is be lugging around stuff. The other thing I see, unlike a hoverboard, is this stability brace right here. What, I mean, explain that. Well, technically, that is not a stability brace. And if you use it's a stability, not. you're going to crash. So what, what is this? This is your left right joystick. Now, as you see, oh. when I press left and right, this is what makes it turn so left and right. So, oh. so, so that's how you steer so it's it. actually how you steer it. Right, with your knees. You steer it with your knees. Do you now, use that to propel it or, or is it? No, well, you just slightly think forward and tilt. Uh -huh. It more think. feels like a think. You it does. Think. Because that's the amazing thing about it. This is, a, this is the crazy thing. Once you become attuned to riding this thing, it becomes an extension of your own body. Right. Just like this becomes an extension of handheld. Now, for other gimbal users out there, you know, when you were doing handheld before, you kind of know what you want to do because it's handheld, but it's a little bumpy. Right. Once you use this for a while, it feels like you can almost think a shot and it just comes out because mm -hmm. you become one with the machine. Got right. it. Now, when you add the fact that you can move the same way you move with your hands, now you're moving your body and your hands the same way and you create incredible shots that you Amazing. would take this old school dolly and, you know, several operators to push. Right. And then on top of that, you even add a little bit of craning ability. Mm -hmm. So you can get low angles, you can get high angles, and all of it can be in motion. Right. Wow. And there are other manufacturers that make really cool suits, like, you know, Ready Rig. They make really cool right, suits right. to help you with carrying equipment like this so that you've got this backpack with the right. extension arms. And the, that helps get that Z axis out, but that also makes you a little bit more clunky. Right. It adds a little bit extra weight. And yeah. typically, you're still on your feet. You can still use that apparatus and ride the gimbal. Right, right. Um, which will also help you e even smoother. But um, this has been such a, an agile, sleek little unit that I love it because, like I said, when I'm around a lot of people, I could just zoom be so, between people. So that, okay, is outdoors only or do you use it indoors? Indoors, outdoors, very minimal noise, like mm -hmm. as much noise as maybe a camera fan. Um, I really don't hear it. Now, if you go too fast, it does beep. Right. You know, it go beep, 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 but you probably won't be going that fast. That's the safety yeah. metric. Tells that's you to that's the yeah. safe, that tells you you're going a little too fast and you need to slow down. Mm -hmm. um, what I found is that I have not had a chance, I haven't fallen yet. That's one thing for sure. That's a good thing. I've had to jump off twice because I was going too fast and I would come up to a place where I needed to stop for an emergency and, I, and it was going too fast and I jumped off. Is that where this comes in? That's my safety I was going to say. <laughs> I was yeah. say. So Tim, I know you're the gadget guy. You do whatever it takes to get that spectacular shot. Yeah. What's, what's, what's up with this? That's just a tether. <laughs> it's just a wire tether to the Segway that I take off and I attach to my belt here. So when it's tethered to me like this, this actually keeps the dolly from getting away from oh, that's me. that's great. So it can come right back to me, I'll jump right back on and I'll keep moving. So you don't have to worry about this crashing or something? Nope, not with the tether. Yeah. That's pretty cool. The standard model is great. Um, some of the other cool things is it can hold up to 220 pounds of weight. So I can ride weight. it, all right. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> right. Yeah. right, guys like us. Right. Yeah, I, I'm coming in at, at 175 right now, so I can throw nice. a lot nice. of stuff nice. on it and still I can run a backpack. Um, sometimes I'll have a telescoping uh, GoPro pole that I'll put here that gets some extra high shots. So I can put a lot of stuff on me and still it handles it just well. And it still has tow capacity, even with all that. And let me tell you another cool thing about this okay. thing. Okay, there's more. Yeah, it takes four hours tops to charge it from complete zero. But mm -hmm. since I've never got to complete zero, at 50%, you're talking about two hours, it's ready to ride again. Wow. So typical times for me have been like two hours, maybe an hour to charge it back to full. Right. Um, but at complete zero battery, which I've never got to, um, it takes four hours to recharge it. Right, so you really only need to charge it when you get home at the end of the day. Like, you can go all day with this. Yeah. Not really worry about the battery. Yeah, just the other day we were riding it, and I didn't even charge it for this shoot because it was still 100%. Wow. Yeah. Um, also, it's got in here, these are two 800-watt motors. Um, this is an 800-watt motor, and that's an 800-watt motor. So it turns like a tank. Right, yeah. right. You know, mm -hmm. one wheel turns one way, and it, you can turn completely 360. In one spot. In one spot. That's another cool thing. I'm glad we brought that up. I found on the Segway, I don't even have to use the turning radius on the gimbal. I don't have to turn the camera like this. I just mm -hmm. turn myself. My arms always stay like this. So the so Segway- So that's called steadier shots and you've got more control. Yeah. The Segway becomes my pan. Mm -hmm. Only thing I gotta do with the gimbal is tilt and get my crane shots. Right. So my arms stay locked like this and I'll just pan like this and I'll come to a slow stop. And that's another thing. You can control the speed and the ramp speed, like starting up slow and going mm -hmm. fast and starting fast and coming to a slow. Same thing with panning and tilting. You can slowly turn and then come to a slow stop. And that's great. So, so wait, do you control that ramp with the, with the app or is that something you just do? You do it with your mind. With your, your mind. mind. Yeah. Intuitively. And a little bit of knee control. Right, right. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So that's less taxing on your arms, on your upper body. 
it's still taxing on your upper body because you're still holding this rig. Yeah. But it helps a lot that you're not but having not to bounce. Not so much movement. Right. All right. So let's talk about that. So so before you were a, a gimbal operator before you had the Segway, right? Correct. So how has that changed in terms of your um, your fatigue during the day? How, how much stamina do you have? Great question. You know. Over the course of first using this gimbal, it always affected my arms. I come home, my arms were blazed. They were just burning. The muscles were done. Uh, I know that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah now, you, now you're shooting with the gimbal. Yeah, yeah. But now I've gotten to the point where you know I've adapted to it, and I can run with this thing pretty much six, seven hours. Right. With my arms locked, like I can do a lock hold like this for two hours. I don't want to do it, but I have done it. But is the gimbal helping you? I mean, that's your Not arm. Not at all. Is, is it... That's where you get the the ready rig, and you throw that rig up. Right. That'll hold it at that so, you know zero gravity so position. How is this helping you get through the day? That helps me because I don't have to walk, so it saves my legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's walking. Yeah. So I can move, like I said, from point A to B without having to walk. And typically speaking, you know, you feel fatigue in your legs more than you feel your arms mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Yeah. And when you have to pack all this stuff up, I mean, that's when you're really feeling you're it. You're, you're, yeah. you're sore. So this is really increasing your productivity a whole lot because you're you're. Um, your stamina is better, you're moving faster, so you're able to get more shots. Right. You're able to cover, if you're doing a live event, you're able to cover a lot more ground than you would, you know, on, on your feet. I absolutely would not be able to do half of those live events by foot. And mm -hmm. a perfect case example, once again, the Cherry Blossom 2017 parade was a two mile route right. up Pennsylvania Avenue. And I was able to follow the parade route back and forth all day, where there were photographers who were running along the floats, okay. taking pictures. They could only go one way. So They're it's not just great back. transportation. Great transportation. Just, <laughs> right. yeah. In itself, it's just great transportation. That's, yep. that's yep. good, man. Right. This has been the greatest new asset I've had since I've had the run. Okay. Great. Well, Shall we do it? let's go do it. This time we're going to try it on foot. How was that? We're gonna find out. I'm saying I lost my breath.
Okay, we've seen two different takes. The first take was with the Segway and the gimbal combo, and I was able to really concentrate on my shot and have to worry about my movement or how to frame up the shot. I could just roll through and get my shots. The second time was on foot, and I was worried about my feet, how they were bouncing, especially wearing these combat boots, and also trying to keep them in frame. I think you'll actually notice that on the foot one, you'll see a little bit of wavering from my movement, my arms moving from running sideways. But on the Segway, it was awesome. I could do that 10, 20 times, no problem. By foot, three times max before I'm completely out of breath and have to rest for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys got a good idea of how the Segway can help your shots when you're using the gimbal. This has been Tim, Black Magic Tim, with GearJones.com. Be sure to tune in to see more videos as we keep pumping them out every single month. Catch you next time.